Welcome to In the Kitchen with Ashley Marie. Today we're making my caramel popcorn. Now you can either make just traditional caramel popcorn with this recipe or you can get it extra gooey and make caramel popcorn balls. My kids love these. They're especially popular on the holidays and they make great gifts, but we like them year round, especially for Friday night family movie nights. Let's get started. We start with two cubes of butter, some white sugar, and some brown sugar. And some carol syrup. We're gonna turn on medium and we're gonna keep stirring it until it's hit the softball stage on our thermometer. Our caramel sauce is now at the softball stage of 230 degrees. So we're going to mix in some evaporated milk, get all that goodness in there. And some vanilla. What we want to do is stir this till it's combined, and then we're gonna let it boil for one minute. Now this coats six to 12 cups of popcorn, depending on how caramel you want your popcorn. I'm just gonna pour mm, about a third of it on to begin with. Or maybe more like half. And I'm gonna stir that up together. Now this does get a little messy. <laughs> it's a little too hot to handle though. So I don't advise sticking your hands in here. You can see it's coating really well. And by not pouring all of it in together at the same time, we can see where maybe something needs more or maybe it's caramely enough and we don't want to, um, we don't want to add any more. Now, I don't know about you, I'm not sure if it's ever caramely enough, but you know, just in case. Ooh, hot. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Uh, one of the reasons not to add all the caramel to your popcorn right at the beginning is also the fact that the uh, caramel is really hot and if you just kind of pour the caramel all over the popcorn it tends to make the, the popcorn deflate um, and then even though we don't have any kernels in here because we got them all out using my cool nifty trick um, it ends up just being really hard instead of nice and soft because all the caramels kind of deflated the popcorn so we don't want to do that so a little bit of a time keeps it a little bit cooler, keeps it from over deflating. All right. So now we have everything nice and coated, extra coated. I will say if you're gonna be making caramel popcorn balls, you probably wanna go the more caramely route. If you're going with like just some snack food that you want people to be able to pick at, then you wanna go the less caramely route because this is gonna be sticking together really good. All right, so it's still too hot to handle. So if I tried to get my hands in there and make popcorn balls right now, it would be a mess and it would burn my hands. So, and I don't wanna do either of those things. So we're actually gonna spread this out and let it cool a little bit. Um, the other problem is if you make the caramel balls while it's still this caramely, Notice if we just try to like put this in a shape right now, let's say we wanted a tower. Because the caramel's so warm, the popcorn is just gonna keep spreading out 
as the caramel uh, spreads out. So we actually want this a little bit cooler and then we'll be able to form balls. And don't worry, it'll still be sticky enough that it'll hold together. All right, so let's spread this out and let it cool. So our popcorn is cooled about 10, maybe 15 minutes and uh, we're ready to ball it up. So the key to not making a huge mess in your hands is actually some kind of nonstick spray. So I'm gonna spray over the sink. All right, so you spray right into your hands. So we're all, we're all nice and greasy now. And we're gonna take oh, about a cup, I'd say, of popcorn up and caramel. Make sure to get some of that pop, that caramel that's kind of stuck to the bottom of the pan. A little bit more here. All right, and now it's cool enough that we can touch it. And it's also cool enough that it holds its form. So put, get, put some parchment paper down. Sometimes you'll find that one of the balls starts to fall apart, and that's simply because it's still a little bit warm. Um, like the, the ones that were in the very center where the caramel was a little bit warmer still. I just go back a couple minutes later and give it one last shape and then it usually holds together just fine. I don't know about you, but this is the best part right here. So if you have any extra popcorn kernels, you can always scrape together just a little bit and enjoy yourself before you share. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a comment down below on anything you'd like to see here on the channel. So what do you think? Super triple. Uh, uh, twice. Has 100 percent delicious. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. All right, how about you, Lego boy? What do you think? Five and a half stars. Five and a half stars, huh? Out of? How many stars are there in total? Ooh, out of six.